Setting up VAT and financial periods has to be done once a year. And to do this, simply do the following. From the main menu, go into Reports. And from Reports, go into Setup. And in Setup, choose VAT and financial periods. You will see that you already have a number of VAT and financial periods already set up. Our VAT periods are here on the left hand side in grey and our financial periods are here on the right in white. Don't change any VAT or financial periods that are already set up. These will be needed for reports being run over time. To change and set up new VAT and financial periods we use these buttons up here on the top. So let's say we want to change or set up new financial periods. It's just a matter of clicking on new financial periods. Now the start period number will be the next number used and the start period date will be the date of the next period which in this case is 1st of January 13 and the number of periods required is 12. So just click OK on that. It advises us that there are no periods that have been set up matching that set of records or criteria and do we want to create new ones so we just say yes and it creates our new financial periods there right up to December 2013. We do something similar for our VAT periods. We can click on New VAT Period button and it shows us the next period number and the next start date based on what was used last. We can then choose the number of periods. You can have options at this stage to choose maybe four periods of three months each or three periods of four months each, whichever you choose. We're going to choose six months of two months each. So there are six periods if I click OK and then the number of months are 2. So click OK on that. Again it will ask us do we want to create new ones and I just say yes. And now you will see that it has created new uh, VAT periods right up to December 2013. Just understand that there's no relationship between these two columns, sets of columns. On the left as I say is the VAT periods and on the right are our financial periods. One other little thing is that here we have a tick box which will allow us to switch on and off VAT periods and financial periods that we're no longer using so that they don't clutter up menu lists and make it awkward to find the current periods. But rather than having to go and click and unclick different boxes, we have a button up here which makes it a little bit easier. So if we click on the set year button and we type in our year, which in this case is 2013, if we click OK, it'll automatically, the system will automatically switch off the old periods and switch on the new period. So you can see here for our VAT periods, all the 2012 uh, periods and earlier are switched off and the new ones are left switched on. And the same is true for our financial periods over here on the right. All the old periods are switched off and the new ones are switched on. If you wanted to be selective and switch uh, on one of the particular periods there, it's very easy to do. Just click on it and it'll be appear in the menu. Click it again to switch it off. And that's all there's to setting up VAT and financial periods.